there, look at there. It's fun. It's a win-win. He doesn't really have to do anything. Okay. It's teaching him to follow your hand. Oh, look at you. What a good boy. What a good boy. Nice. So I just shaped a sit without even saying it. I might now shape it down. So you shape it, you don't use the word. Not yet. Okay. Because it doesn't mean anything to him yet. Right. The goods mean a lot more to him. So once he's down, I'm going to take the opportunity to do things like this, which will be all over his little body. Hi, buddy. Good boy. He's not chewing on you. <laughs> Good boy. And if he does this and you want you it's okay, okay that's to, enough no good so what i do when he resists like that carol when he starts to fight yeah. and counteract my pressure i hold him still until he relents until he surrenders and gives up and then i let go so now it's his choice to stay where he's at i'm not holding him there gotcha. his choice he's learning that I won't restrain you if you stay there. Good boy. And so you learn to... Look at his tail. Yeah. Oh, crazy. <laughs> he learns responsibility. He learns what he can control. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Very nice. And this is just the beginning of body socialization. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in their ears. You're touching their feet. And you don't have to get real specific yet. Just touching his body all over. If he starts to again get kind of bratty and like, hey, don't do that. Just restrain him when he stops fighting. Keep your hands there, but let go. And then he gets something positive. It's his choice to be where he's at right now. Yeah. yeah. What a good puppy. What a beautiful, good puppy. And it's okay if he gets up. I'm okay with that. Oh, good boy. Look at there. Look at there. Look at that. Good boy. Nice. Good. No. Did I say the word sit? No. Nice. But I shaped a sit, right? Perfect. That's yeah. an end result that you want. Yeah. It doesn't always have to be so formal and so controlled, but it does have to be managed every second of the the day yeah. because you know what at this age just like with a toddler they don't know any better they do not know that there's an option so anytime I go to give him something I'm going to create a sit unless I'm walking yeah. and even when I'm walking I might stop to create a sit why not pattern a dog well that's the way that's what I've always taught them was walk sit walk sit but I don't want to have to ask for everything right right you just want them to do it when I stop, you should sit. Nice. Good. So remember your use of the word not. You have a lady in there? Where yes, you Barbara. Her. I'm coming in there in a second. Okay. So the use of the word nice mm -hmm. is remember, you want to mark the behavior when it hits, then distribute the food. Does that make sense? Yes. Oh my okay. God. So the big things I want you to work on over the weekend would be body manipulation. Um, putting him into a down, which all I'm doing is pulling them forward. And I've got a treat in my hand at the end of his foot for a reason. Mm -hmm. So that that's what he's focused on. Good boy. Finger in the collar. Restrain him if you need to, but let go as soon as you can. And as much body manipulation as you can, especially a dog with an orthopedic problem who's going to have a lot of body manipulation. Kathy uh, Featherstone said she was going to email me something that she got back from the therapist. So, a lot of touching his mouth. Very nice. And while he's chewing, he can't chew me, right? He's chewing <laughs> the treat, right? Perfect. Good boy. Very nice. Very nice. Look at you. Look at that. What? Ah, ah, ah. No.
have those mini biscuits that you have now, but really little ones. In my office. Well, so you, I mean, can I buy them somewhere, or can I get a package of them? No, as a foster care provider, I'll give you whatever you want. All right. That's and amazing. That's, you know, yeah. that's amazing what you just did. Oh, thank you. Part of it really is good. is keeping in mind what are my limitations because you just you don't want to push it so far that you fail. Yeah. You want to give them just enough success that they recognize and they take control and responsibility for it. But you don't want to wait. It's like that half a millisecond. They yeah. wait just too long and, and then it all falls fluid. apart and you have to start again. Right. And then what they learn in that brief second seems to be gone. Not forever, but you definitely yeah. have to start all over again. So, um, you know, it's a lot of body manipulation. It's a lot of t managing. Good, look at you. How smart are you? It's a lot of managing tantrums. It's not at this age, in my personal opinion. Yeah. Take this for whatever it's worth, camera. <laughs> it is not in my personal opinion. They have choice when we create choice, and that's it. Yeah. It's not choice because they're free-spirited human beings. <laughs> they are not. He is an influential young animal that needs guidance, needs clarity, needs responsibility, needs to know this is what I expect. The hard part for us is laying it out and saying, I want this, but I don't want this. I'm going to give you this for this, and I'm going to have a consequence for this. And when that consequence is presented, just like with children, as quickly as you can, you got to get out of that so that it's up to them. You have a choice. Yeah. If you're going to start thrashing again, I am going to restrain you, but I'm going to let go. What are you gonna do with it? And the second they go, okay, I'll let, I'll, I'll be good. Yay! That's it. That's it. That's it. Woo! Party not for, time. not for two minutes. Party time. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're so smart. You're just the smartest little dog. How smart are you? <laughs>